Welcome third grade um, <clears throat> to this week's number talk. Um, as you know, uh, this week's number talk is actually focused on fractions, where you guys are un better understanding um, area models in relationship to fraction addition. Um, I won't kid you, I tried to make that into a learning opportunity, and it, it fell short. Um, let's just leave it at that. So what I did instead is I said, you know what, I said, I don't want to lose out an opportunity, though, as we enter the month of May, for you to still, to, you know, to think mathematically and continue to develop and grow as a mathematician. So what I did was I created a learn opportunity where the first two days are mathematical, computational, logic-based problems, a little of both, um, multiple choice, because I know so often... Um, as students, you know, you get to a, a standardized test or something of that nature, and, and you, we never have really been exposed to multiple choice in the realm of math. So I went ahead and gave you some math problems um, that are that are multiple choice. So enjoy the opportunity to explore some different ideas um, through those problem sets. Um, and then what I did with the challenge was, I know for some of us model drawing is really clicking, and make sense in the visual interpretation of the pictorial model is really helpful. And I know for others, it's an area we're still developing. So I was like, you know what, let's take this opportunity to let model drawing fall in our challenge problems this week uh, so we can continue to um, develop that strategy and, and you can share that strategy with, with, uh, with your family and friends. Okay, so let's look at the a couple examples I've created for us to walk through it. Remember, you're always looking for the who and the what, and you create that unit bar. Okay, so we think about this. There are five times as many children as adults. So we have children, we have adults. Okay? We know when we start off, we give each one a unit bar. So every problem should have who are you talking about. Obviously, the what part is, you know, the, num the, the number of them. Okay? And then the unit bar. And then right away, then we come back and reread the problem. So if there's five times as many children there should be five boxes. So if there's five times as many children as adults at the park, and there's 30 adults, so if that unit bar is 30, that means 30 So each of our unit bars will be 30 because they all represent, remember, we're starting with the unit bar the same for the children and adults, so each unit bar must represent the same value in this situation. So if we said, how many children are at the park? Well, we know 5 30s is 150, so there's 150 children. Sorry, that did not come out better. Um, how many people total are at the park? Well, there would be 180 total. I know that's a pretty straightforward problem. Some of you are like, Mr. Harrison, I just would have multiplied. I didn't have to do, the, I didn't have to do model drawing. I know. I wanted to use a more basic problem to under, make sure the model drawing made sense to you. Um, let's apply it to a, a different problem. So if we said that Mrs. Dolan, who is what we're talking about, we're talking about her beads, right? And she had 60 of these. So I'm actually going to create this unit bar a little bit bigger. I'm just going to read this whole problem. So Mrs. Dolan had 60 beads. Of those beads, one-third were wooden, and the rest were glass. Of the glass beads, one-fourth were red, and the rest were blue. How many were blue? How many were red? Okay, well, well, let's look at this. We know that we have a unit bar that represents all the beads. So that's 60. Of those beads, one-third were wooden. So one-third were wooden. The rest were glass. Right. Of the glass beads, so if you notice, I can create a second bar, because of the glass beads, one-fourth were red, and the rest were blue. How many were blue, how many were red? Well, let's first think about it. If 60 is the total broken up into three parts, 60 divided by 3, that means each one of these is 20. So of the glass beads, this number down here ends up being 40. We're breaking that up into four bars. So each one of these is 10. So now we have 10 red, and we have 30 blue. So 
just two different models um, to give you an idea of how, how you could use model drawing. Um, you know, I know the questions I've given you on the challenge are a little different, I understand that, but again, it's find the who, find the what, start the unit bar, so everybody at least has a starting place to look to solve the problems. And again, if, if you have any questions, please please feel free to ask, okay? Thank you.